Hey guys, Exotic Gaming here, back with another super exciting Call of Duty Mobile video. This may actually turn out to be one of the most relatable Call of Duty Mobile videos you'll ever come across. Today we're going to talk about noobs and some of the things that they do. We can't be mad at them because we were all noobs at one point in this game. We all were just starting out, and every noob is destined to finally leave that category as they play more and more and get better and better at this game. While there's still noobs though, there are some pretty unusual things that they do. These are the 10 biggest mistakes noobs make in Call of Duty Mobile. Really quickly, before this video starts, take a second and leave a like down below. A lot of people think that a like equals money on YouTube, when in fact it doesn't. It's just a way to support the creator you're watching, and as always, your support is greatly appreciated. Subscribe to this channel for more of the latest Call of Duty Mobile videos, turn on post notifications if you have not done so already, and let's jump into this. So, I'm turning on my face cam just for this first big mistake that noobs make in this game. The first big mistake that noobs make in Call of Duty Mobile is being like me. <laughs> so I was having a great day playing Call of Duty Mobile on my phone, but then out of nowhere, I got disconnected. Let it be known that I'm recording this video in early July, right? So this game is still in beta and I'm still playing on the Australian servers. I am the least patient Call of Duty Mobile player Ever. So instead of simply waiting to find a time when I'm actually able to connect to the servers better, I delete the game and try to reinstall it. When I finally reinstall it and I try to connect to my accounts, guess what? My account is gone. So now I'm at the point where I have to start over and I lost all of my progress in this game. Now guess what? That's a noob mistake in Call of Duty Mobile. Don't do that. Be patient and if you disconnect, Wait until a better time to play the game. So yes, noob mistake number one is being like me. <laughs> Continuing on, another massive mistake noobs make in Call of Duty Mobile has to do with volume, headphones, etc. There's actually three tips here. First off, noobs don't play with any volume on for whatever reason. They're completely clueless about their surroundings and won't even hear you 10 feet away. Going along with this, a lot of times you'll find players who can hear you but end up walking in the wrong direction or doing other things. That's because they don't have headphones on. You need to play with headphones on to understand where your enemies are. And hey, if you have a mic, please, for the love of God, don't turn it on for everyone. I don't want to hear your whole family screaming in the background while you're blasting Swedish house music and your dog is barking up a storm. It's not fun. Noobs, please turn your mics off. Or if you want to talk to your teammates, go into a quiet room and make sure you have a decent mic. Thank you. Next up, something you'll notice a lot of noobs doing in this game is having no clue about their storage space. Noobs will end up running out of bag space and it'll be due to unnecessary items. Say you begin the match, right? You land at farm and the first few weapons you pick up are a 9mm SMG and a shotgun with shells. Over time, though, you find an M4 and an AK-47, and you drop those other guns. Many times, people will still have the ammo and attachments for their old guns, and guess what? That's not very smart. What if you're running to an airdrop, and you want to quickly loot it before other people find you and snipe you? You go to pick up the AS-50, but your bag is full. You then take 30 seconds trying to get rid of your items, and then you die in the process. Don't have that happen to you, and only carry the items you need. Moving forward, a trend that a lot of noobs fall into, unfortunately, is the whole thought process that they're actually really good. If a noob is extremely lucky and somehow manages to win a match for whatever reason, they might think that can happen all the time, they don't become super humble and they'll get overconfident with their actions. They may see a squad of four players running toward a helicopter, and they'll just run right after them and shoot at them in the middle of the open. Now when you have no cover, who do you think will win? One noob with a PDW, or four good teammates with M4s and AK-47s? Now how about when you get teamed up with a noob? They'll be like, oh hey I'll drive this time, and then proceed to drive you right into the middle of a gunfight between two squads, and guess what? You die, because of the noob. 
This is why you never let the noob drive until they're ready. You know another thing that you shouldn't let noobs do though? Landing far, far away from enemies. Tell me this, how are you gonna win the game if every time you land, you come to a place like here, where there are no other players, not even bots, and you don't ever get experience using the different weapons? You're not. You will not get better at this game if you land far away from your enemies. As a beginning player, you should always try to land at high traffic areas like launch and pipeline for example, and try to get in as much action as possible. By encountering more people, you will get more experience, learn how to fight faster, how the guns work, and in the end, become a better Call of Duty mobile player. Besides, why land so far away anyways? You'll have to spend your entire game running into the zone, and that's never fun. The sixth biggest mistake noobs make a lot of the time is using killstreaks in multiplayer mode or reloading in any mode right out in the open. Now hey, I'm guilty of this too, okay? I always forget to get into better cover when I use killstreaks, for example, but my automatic reaction is to use them as soon as I get them, right? And I reload as soon as I need to, right? Sometimes that's not right. You can't do that though. With both killstreaks and the reload animation, you'll be presented with a few second time period where you're unable to fight back at your enemies and you're super vulnerable at this time. If someone sees you when you're either using your kill streak or reloading, you'll be screwed. They'll have the easiest time killing you and it's just going to ruin your day, dude. Just get into better cover when you reload, use kill streaks or even heal up and you'll win that many more times. Hey, but that's not all. Another mistake noobs make in Call of Duty Mobile is the simple fact that they refuse to try certain weapons. Why is that? You think you're a pro now because all you use is the PDW? Well, I have news for you. If you don't know how to use the other guns, you're not a pro. Pros know how to use all the different weapons in this game, and you're making a huge mistake if, in the very beginning, you only go for one or two different weapons. In your first matches you play, try as many different weapons out, even if you soon realize which one is your favorite, you need to keep practicing with all of them. You need to know how to get a kill with each and every weapon. Weapon drops are never guaranteed and you'll be screwed if you're only comfortable with the M4 LMG and the place you land has no M4 LMG in sights and only the Chikon and the XPR-50. Learn every gun and you'll become that much better at this game. The eighth biggest mistake noobs make in Call of Duty Mobile is forgetting to go to the next zone. Maybe you're someone who's like me, who really likes looting, okay? Hey, I get that. Looting is really nice in this game. It's super fluid. You may land at Sakura and become totally absorbed with looting up. Yeah, you may kill an enemy here or there, but the fact of the matter is, you really want to get everything in that city, okay? Well, here's the problem. What if the next circle is like a thousand meters away from you? You're screwed if you're looting up and out of nowhere the zone passes you and you're now on a mission to try and get back inside before you die. And then the next zone is even further away, so before you can even heal up fully, you have to start running again. But that second zone is faster than you, so when it does pass you, it now does double damage and you die. Simple as that. Don't want that to happen to you? Always check the map then. Getting close to the end here, another thing noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile is not realize that guns have a bullet travel time. In the very beginning, almost every player had a situation where someone was like 300 meters away, and they tried to place their crosshair directly on the body of the enemy and shoot. Guess what? It's a miss! You have to lead your shots in Call of Duty Mobile, especially with snipers, if you want your bullets to hit the player that's very far away. It takes a lot of time to get used to because each gun has a different bullet speed so the amount of lead you need for the gold AS50 will be significantly different from the M4 LMG. What I'd recommend you to do is go onto the tops of the mountains in Battle Royale and go out of your way in the beginning to snipe down at moving players and see how the bullet travel time affects different weapons. It's a great tip. And last, but certainly not least, Probably the biggest single mistake noobs make in Call of Duty Mobile is being afraid to die. When you start playing Call of Duty Mobile, it is crucial that you do not play competitive. 
You need to understand that you're just learning at this point. And don't be afraid to try different strategies to see which one works best for you. Don't camp in a building the entire match because that's not going to make you better at the game. You need a lot of action. Experience everything Call of Duty Mobile has to offer. And only after many matches of practice should you finally begin to play more stealthily and aim toward getting your first win. When you first start playing, never play for wins. Play for the experience. And this single tip is the absolute greatest tip I can give to anyone in Call of Duty Mobile. Use it, learn it, and live it. And hey, would you look at that? We're already finished with the video. I really hope you all got something out of this video and you found it to be a super helpful Call of Duty Mobile video. If you are a noob in this game, I hope this video brought you that much closer to no longer being one. We are all destined to eventually becoming the pros we've always wanted to be. So let's start now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like rating down below. Subscribe to my channel for more of the best Call of Duty mobile content, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos for this game. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.